I never felt that anything was really wrong, except I was tired. Kent would work, go to work every day, and he came home, and he'd like, he would sit on the couch, which he's not a sit on the couch person, and then he would just go to bed, like at five o'clock. And I kept telling Dana, something's wrong with dad, something's wrong with dad. When asked to break it down, you got leukemia, and we think it's AML. They started me on the chemo, and I did one round there, and it lasted 28 days. After 28 days, he, um, they told him that they couldn't treat him any longer. He goes, I'd like to start you on a clinical trial. Dr. Andriotis came in and talked to him and wanted to, and wanted to start him on a clinical trial. After considerable thought and prayer, I want to do this clinic. And that was your gateway research, which was a blessing. It was out of heaven it came. We started the treatment in the next two or three days. Um, and whereas he had no blood counts to speak of for several weeks because of how sick he was, within a couple of weeks of starting the treatment, we started seeing healthy cells growing in his blood, um, which was impressive. He ended up having a biopsy that showed he was in a complete remission, that there was no trace of leukemia left in his body um, within a month of starting the therapy. Funded by Gateway, we were thinking about what's missing in current treatments for leukemia and what if we, in addition to targeting cancer, we were targeting the healthy environment where the cancer cells grow. Would that make a difference in, in how well treatment works? We're seeing more than 50% response rates, which means 50% of people who didn't have a chance with traditional chemotherapy are now in remission. Um, so they're leukemia free, which is exciting. The medicine's coming a long way and these grants like Gateway that do this have an insight to where medicine is gonna go. I see my husband healed. I see us getting old with more grandkids. I see no cancer in our future. So I'm pretty upbeat about that spiritually and physically. I'm just very thankful that he fought and he didn't give up. And I'm very glad that that night he made the great decision to say, Dr. Andriotis, put me in the clinical trial. Very thankful. <laughs>